Hi, it's Gary Byers, and I'm at Tal El Hammam in Jordan. It's January. It's shirt sleeve weather. It's beautiful. Now, I've been talking to you from the squares inside the city where we're digging houses. Right now, I'm on the city wall, and the city wall, well, I'll show you. It stretches from here. This is the outer face, and there's a stone line, and it's about five feet high. And then we go to all the way to the inner face, and it's 16 feet wide. This city wall was built about 4,300 years ago. It's amazing. And you can't see very well, but trust me, this is mud brick sitting on top of stone. You say it doesn't look like mud brick, and it doesn't because it's weathered. But just follow that mud brick right behind me. As we come right along, this is the same mud brick, and here it is right there. Look at this line of mud brick. It actually goes right to the surface. These mud bricks have been here for 4,300 years. We have been walking on them. Didn't even know they were there. Now, the Bible says the Israelites had to build out of mud brick in Egypt. In fact, I have one right here I'm going to pick up. It's unfortunate, I just broke it before we started filming. And I just broke some more. This is an example of a brick, the kind of brick that these houses, that these walls are made from, the kind of brick that the Israelites made in Egypt. Now the Bible says that the Egyptians said, we won't give you any more straw, you have to get your own. Straw is a critical binder, uh, organic material is a critical binder to make mud bricks hold together. Now these are sun-dried mud bricks. They're formed, they're left to dry in the sun, they're put into a wall, they're plastered over, and they last for, well, 4,300 years and counting. Now Daniel, who's photographing, he lives in New Mexico. They build adobe mud brick houses there all the time. They don't do that where I live in Washington, D.C. Ours are kiln-fired mud bricks. Now the Bible says that the three Hebrew children, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, were cast into a fiery furnace by King Nebuchadnezzar because they wouldn't bow to his golden image. King Nebuchadnezzar's city of Babylon was built with kiln-fired mud bricks, not sun-dried. We actually think that the kiln that was used to fire those mud bricks was the fiery furnace the Hebrew guys were cast into. When you understand archaeology, the Bible comes alive. Welcome to Biblical Archaeology at Tal El Hamam.